I just moved to Miami. I rented a house here. We moved from Arizona. I've moved around a lot in the last few years and I get asked a lot why I move. And so I wanted to make a video and talk about it because I think it's actually pretty important. Some other things that I've just learned as I've moved. So if you are in an area, whoa, that car is coming fast. If you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of upward potentials, if you live in an area that's not, it's not scary to you anymore. It's not new. It's not, there's not a lot you can grow into. You're not going to grow your business as fast. So when I first lived, I lived in a little town south of Fort Worth and there was a limit to how much I could grow my business there because it was a relatively poorer area. And the more money you make, the more you feel good about yourself. And you're like, man, I have the nice house or I have this. And so you don't push yourself. And so if your goal is to build the business as big as you can, you really want to push yourself. And so my first move, I moved from that small town to Fort Worth, Texas. And same thing happened. It was a new town. I could hardly afford any of the houses there. It was really expensive. And there was a lot of like fancy stuff that I just wasn't at the level yet for. Like I didn't have the business. There's way bigger businesses than mine. And so I lived there for a while, but then I started getting comfortable there again. I got a nice house in a nice part of Fort Worth and that's fine. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but my goal has always been to grow my business and take it to the next level. And so I was reading a book and it was like, man, you just got to move. Like if you cap out in an area, if you, if you don't feel excited about it anymore, you got to move. You got to be willing to kind of stay dangerous. And so that's what I did. I moved to Miami for the first time. And I don't know if you know anything about Miami, but this area is so expensive. And so going from a place where I can afford a pretty nice house to a place where I can't get the house that I want anymore pushes you and it makes you work harder. And so I think that's really important. And that's really like, there's, you know, there's all those books they talk about, like you're the five people you surround yourself with and all the different things like that. That's absolutely true. And so and it extrapolates to the city too. Like you're going to act like the people in the city you're in. So if you have a lot of people that are just not doing anything, if the place is a mess, like you're going to start to be that even if you're not that way. And so moving to an area is just a really good hack. And here's the other thing that's true. You can't do that unless you own a business. So like my personal recommendation, like if I was getting started again, I wanted to like, I would want to have my own business as soon as I possibly could, because you can't necessarily do this. If you just work a job, you work for somebody else. You really need to have your own business because then you have a way you can actually be rewarded for pushing yourself. I was talking to my brother and we were talking about a guy he knows. It's just like, he worked really hard at a job and he had the top sales position and they didn't do anything for him. It was just like, Hey, here's a cool piece of paper. And so you really need to have a business. You can do that. And so those are kind of my two pieces of advice right? Start a business, do something that's interesting to you. For me, it was real estate photography. You know that you're watching my channel, but for me, that was interesting. Like I liked houses. I liked real estate and I liked photography somewhat, but I would say the real estate side of it was more interesting. And I combined those two things and I made a business taking real estate photos. And because of that business, I was able to then push myself and say, Hey, what am I going to do? Like I afforded in the small town, the nice things I wanted in Fort Worth, that wasn't going to be the same case. Like I was going to have to push myself to the next level. Right. And so in order to do that, what did I have to do? I had to hire people and I had to grow my team and I had to push it to the point where we had well over 10 employees. And so the same thing applied. Okay. Then I moved somewhere else. What am I going to do? What am I going to, what's my ability to take this skill and take it to the next level? So my real estate photography business still exists in Fort Worth, but I started a business helping people all over the United States start their own real estate photography businesses. And so the whole thing is if you move to a new area, you will push yourself and it will absolutely motivate you. So if you're wanting to start your business, maybe it's a real estate photography business and you're telling yourself, ah, oh, there's not a lot of nice places in my area. And we've talked about that a lot. There doesn't have to be nice houses for real estate photography, but you're just not feeling like your area is right. You can move. Like I heard a quote the other day I loved, which is you're not a tree. You don't have roots. Like you can absolutely get up and move. And so if you're struggling to find the motivation or just to really like make a change in your life. I highly, highly recommend moving cities. You're going to lose everybody, you know, and that sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like a scary thing. It's absolutely not it allows you a chance to start fresh and you can still, you have the internet. You see those people all the time on the internet, probably more than you see them in real life anyway. And so moving allows you to reset. And the cool thing about moving as well is your habits reset also. So if you have bad habits or you're around people that don't help you, or you just, you're in a funk, it's the same thing every day. Like the number one thing you can do, absolutely, there's a lot of people up here, is move and it will kind of reset everything for you. What I'm not saying you have to do is move to somewhere you absolutely can't afford. You can take it one level at a time. I moved for a, from a city where the average house is probably like a hundred grand. My first house was $82,000 in that city. Then I moved to a city, Fort Worth, where it was nicer and I bought a nice house. So anyway, all that being said, if you're feeling stuck, if you need to change, if you're plateauing, you gotta have a business to do this. So start that first or move and then start that. But either way, do one of those two things. That's what I got for you. I'll see you in the next video.